Deliberately deplete my prepaid phone balance? You will pay for it 1000 times over. See, I knew Derek was obsessed with Pokemon. Our friend group liked Pokemon back in the day even when other kids thought it wasn't cool, but Derek was on a whole different level. He bragged about his Pokemon collection all the time, at the time he had every single main series game in the original box, and in mint condition as he always had to add in. I went to his house once and he was showing me his collection, he yelled at me for touching one of the games, nobody was allowed to touch them except him. He had many older Nintendo games in excellent condition but Pokemon was his favorite. He had had a couple of incidents with his mom damaging or throwing away his things, it wasn't out of malice but just ignorance, as she didn't think the games or collectibles had any value. Fast forward into the present day, I was thinking about this when I asked his mother if she had any other Pokemon stuff, she ended up bringing out the mother love. We opened all of the boxes she had me bring down. Within the boxes there was the beloved collection of Pokemon games, all very well preserved, as well as several Nintendo consoles, hundreds of games, two dozen binders full of Pokemon cards, and there was also a box of many Lego sets with the original boxes and everything, with many old Star Wars sets. When I saw Jango fed I knew I struck gold. I told her that I liked old Legos as well, and asked her how much for the five boxes of games, cards, and Lego sets, and she thought for a second and said $100 a box, or $400 for all five. I told her I would take it all and hauled ass to get to an ATM. I loaded the five boxes into my dad's truck and immediately drove home. I knew there was potentially tens of thousands of dollars of goods here, this was the score of a lifetime and I finally felt vindicated for the $40 Derek had taken from me all those years ago. I ended up giving all the stuff to my uncle, who's a hobbyist eBay reseller. He offered to sell it all, he was willing to go through the effort and sell everything individually, and despite my insistence he said he wouldn't take more than a 10% cut of the profits after all fees and taxes. We went through and logged every single item along with the estimated value, and the total of the whole lot was about $40,000. 40,000 was a poetic number since this was 1,000x the value of what Derek stole from me all those years ago. My uncle sold most of the lot before the end of the summer and ended up writing me a check, though it was considerably less than $40,000, it was still a life-changing amount of money for me, I was able to pay off my remaining student loans and put the rest towards a down payment on a new car.